What is up YouTube and welcome to this Shazam DCEU video. So if you're new to the channel, please drop a like and please do subscribe down below if you did enjoy the video. So this has been a whirlwind of kind of speculation and everything surrounding Shazam, which is, well, no surprise because it's a DC movie and, well, every minute detail of a DC movie these days is under the microscope. I'm, I'm not sure if that sentence actually made any sense. I'm, I'm very sorry. It's uh, I'm very tired and I'm about to watch Supergirl and have dinner. So that's no excuse. But moving on from the boring details about my dinner, we actually have confirmation now that Mark Strong is going to be Dr. Zavanna. So Dr. Zavanna will be the villain of the movie. And he has confirmed in London that he will be playing the role of Dr. Savannah. He says that I'm playing an evil bastard called Dr. Savannah. They are always the best characters to play, the most fun. I was Sinestro in Green Lantern, which I thought was a rather good film, but I didn't do what they wanted, so I feel like I've got unfinished business in the DC world. I played a pretty evil character in that, and it was meant to get even worse in the second one, which is quite big that he's confirming there was supposed to be a second movie, and Sinestro was supposed to be more featured or more prominent in that movie. So he says, goes on to say that he was meant to get even worse in the second one, but that never happened, but I think I'm going to get to the chance to do that in Shazam. So he said that he's playing... Dr. Zavala, which really we had no question that he was playing that role. It's been rumoured and hinted at for quite a long time. Now we're just waiting for the official confirmation coming from the word of DC themselves. But Dr. Zavala is a huge character in the world of Shazam, especially in the New 52 version of Shazam. So in the pre-New 52, we had Dr. Zavala, who was a mad scientist who was a huge villain of Captain Marvel, and he had his own island, which, yes, that makes sense because he is a villain, but he was also involved with quite a few people, including Lex Luthor as well. However, what happened in New 52, we had Dr. Savannah who was searching for magic, he was searching for the thing which could help him out the greatest. And, well, this led him to actually reviving Black Adam. So he was able to survive or kind of save Black Adam, bring him out, and that's who his legend that he was actually searching for, which, well, he got it. And he was hoping that the lightning could actually save his family. This led to him actually being blinded, and what happened was he went on a kind of journey with Black Adam who wanted to destroy the last gods and actually take the magic of Shazam for himself. This led to a conflict between Black Adam and Shazam. Now we know that there is a Black Adam movie coming further down the line and this is going to obviously feature The Rock Dwayne Johnson as Black Adam which I don't know about the casting. Uh, but Black Adam, oh, kind of, sorry, The Rock was amazing in the uh, the Jumanji movie that's just come out. And, well, I'm going to give him his props there. I think he could play a good role of Black Adam, perhaps. But I'm a huge wrestling fan. I'm a huge Rock fan. I've just never really liked many of his movies. It's not really, I don't know what it's been down to. I think, but he was good in Pain and Gain, so there is that. Now, obviously, what is a villain without their henchmen or their family? And the hashtag show have revealed that we could actually be getting the Savannah family. He does actually have children who are also evil, and these are the castings. So the first one is Thaddeus Bodog Savannah, evil sorcerer who regenerates from death with world domination on his mind, supporting lead male. Beautia Savannah, Savannah's devoted daughter. When he does not return her love, she changes loyalties and helps Billy out. Magnificus Savannah, Savannah's incredibly giant and strong son that he has a huge battle with Shazam. So it does look like the Savannah family are playing a huge part here in the movie. And it's quite telling here that they are merging New 52 and also pre-New 52. So we might probably get the look 
of or the story of New 52, but we're also getting the pre-New 52 Savannah family, which is pretty curious to say the least. And we know that the director has confirmed that Billy Batson will not be the douchebag that he is in New 52. He's going to be a hell of a lot more likable. So, obviously, we have, like I mentioned, we're getting the Savannah family, but Shazam also has his own Shazam family, which is, of course, Mary Marvel and the rest of the team, who are his friends, and who, in the New 52, are the people who he goes, or the children who are in the, the kind of orphanage or foster home that he's actually at. So it's quite telling that we get in this. So it looks like they're blending in New 52 and pre-New 52, which I can get behind, to be honest. And New 52 is very kind of dark and things like that. So I expect them uh, they're wanting to make things a bit more lighter. And, of course, we've got Zachary Levi, who is a comedy actor as well, playing the kind of grown-up version of Shazam. And it will be very much a big adaptation, which is pretty cool, to be honest. So, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Are you excited for this movie? Do you think Mark Strong is the best role for this? And who do you think could play Savannah's family? So that's it. I'll see you soon, and goodbye.